I want to ask a question about education. Um, from primary school onwards in this country, many children ha have the impression that they have to choose religion or science. Even really young children are faced with this question. And it, of course, goes through adolescents, and many adults think you also have to choose. If a, a school-aged child asks you, do you have to choose religion or science, how would you respond to them? Well, you've got to start teaching philosophy from a young age, so they don't have to don't put into this, uh, have these false questions. We don't teach children how to think. Uh, children are natural philosophers. They ask why questions. And the first question, and then the response to why is because, the cause of the being of a thing. And as they grow up, they change to how questions and how much. You'll get back to why questions. But they're frustrated because they're not taught how to think. They're taught little compartmentalized subjects um, with, with facts and a, a sort of falsely complete view of the world within, which e within each of these silos. So um, there's a bigger problem here. It's, uh, I, although this is a very important symptom, uh, um, which is the need to, to teach um, proper uh, philosophy and, and practice the real thinking and questioning skills. I agree 100%. And I would add that uh, you should also teach history of science. Yes. Because if you learn how science actually evolved in time, a lot of these problems would disappear. Yes. You know, and, but, but people don't. They learn about the laws of Newton, how do you solve these problems without knowing anything about who Newton was and why was this happening in the 1680s, you know. I always remember that genetics and the Big Bang Theory were first proposed by priests. Uh, we all, <laughs> so Lemaitre and Mendel. Yeah, Mendel so yeah. there's, the story is much more interesting uh, than some people um, portray.